what's going on everybody here's an update on the never-ending cycle um, <clears throat> after the two big water changes I did on the tank um, I did introduce some ammonia back into the tank um, so at this point I'm just gonna start doing water changes small water changes uh, on a regular basis <clears throat> and uh, hopefully that'll get me to the point that I need to be as far as the cycle is concerned and I did get the heater moved uh, out of the display tank and I put it in the sump and <clears throat> excuse me it actually did work out pretty well um, uh, did increase the water volume in the sump I'm having a difficult time tuning this Herbie system um, my return cha chamber fluctuates pretty badly so um, what I'm gonna need to do is get it kind of figured out and measured out and um, so that I can get an auto top off because I don't you know I don't want the uh, I don't want to top it off every day manually and I don't want the salinity to swing but um, I'm just trying to get it uh, the drain situation figured out um, so I did add water to the sump um, I don't know a couple gallons or whatever and I'm just trying to mark it with the tape so I can kind of have an idea of what I've got going on as far as the the volume inside the sump is concerned um, but the other exciting thing about this video is uh, this uh, the alternative reef made a post on reef to reef uh, last weekend and um, maybe I got an email or something about uh, some some topics or whatever going on but um, he makes uh, or they make um, like uh, frag racks or whatever and typically they're uh, limited production um, but he uh, excuse me they um, made some and had them listed on the reef to reef forums um, and I saw how quickly they started disappearing um, they, they didn't last very long there wasn't very many of them um, so I had to get one uh, you know I don't I don't have any coral at the moment or whatever but I know at some point I'm gonna need some form of a frag rack and the cost of an acrylic frag rack is still probably close to the cost of one of these here um, so I went ahead and got one like I said shortly after I got the one that I got uh, they all sold out so whenever I got the the one that I like the most out of the ones available there were only like four left anyway uh, so I jumped on as fast as I could and overall I mean it's it came packaged super nice um, it was uh, shrink wrapped um, it was bubble wrapped uh, the box was perfect um, and it came quick you know I think I purchased it paid for it last Saturday or Sunday uh, and it came in the mail on Friday maybe um, so overall thumbs up you know uh, I know that a lot of times from what I've read they it kind of depends on the magnets if the manufacturer that they buy magnets from if they have them in order to make the product but uh, here it is uh, in comparison to the Milwaukee M8 MA887 refractometer um, and it's a heavy piece um, it, it's a it's a good size piece and it's a heavy piece and as you can see it's got uh, seven frag plugs in it and those are removable and on the left side uh, it's got the or excuse me the right side it's got the magnet and you can see here that it's it's shrink wrapped and it's sealed off pretty good actually really good uh, the packaging is outstanding here um, but I didn't really know what to expect you know I, I, I know frag racks you think about acrylic or something similar to that and it's kind of just an eyesore to tank and with this tank being in the living room I wanted something that was going to look professional uh, and, and look kind of natural inside the tank or whatever so I decided to pull the trigger on it and I'm happy with it and like I said it's 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 well built uh, the magnet super strong um, and it's really heavy um, so here you can see I took the frag plugs out of it so if you get um, if you order something online or whatever it's already on a plug you can just pop it in here and then you have seven frag plugs that you can put your own frags on um, so that's really cool too that it came with the frag plugs you know I didn't really know what to expect I just seen how fast they were going and I did a little bit of research and I noticed how uh, everybody wanted some um, so I had to get one real quick while they were available and it's just the bottom of it so from the tank standpoint you won't even see the bottom part of the uh, frag rack but it's the alternative reef um, they're a forum sponsor on reef to reef I highly recommend getting on there and checking them out uh, it's a really nice piece of equipment so uh, here it is in the tank the top down shots kind of horrible with the glare and everything but um, I think it looks great you know uh, the 
RW4s throwing water bubbles everywhere, excuse me, air bubbles everywhere. Um, but it's, it's, it worked out perfect. Um, it is a lighter color than my other rock, but you know, over time being in the tank, that'll change. No, no issues there or whatever, but it looks natural to me. Uh, I really like the way that it looks. And of course it's adjustable with the magnet. You can take it out, and move it wherever you need to move it. Um, but from this particular angle right here, you can't even tell that it's actually a magnet on the side of the tank. It looks like it's a piece of the rock work. And uh, you can barely see the magnet on the outside of the tank. It's a low-profile magnet. But uh, if you get a chance and he makes more pieces, they make more pieces, I'd highly suggest uh, being able to jump on one as fast as possible because, like I said, they go pretty quick. But um, look into them. Get on Reef to Reef and go down to the sponsor forums and uh, look at the alternative reef.